Greetings. We are doing a series on this devotional on Matthew 4:19, where Jesus says, follow me and I will make you fishers of man. And we uh, started on the acronym FIRE, which stands for uh, follow. And then uh, we talked last time about, you know, the first F, which was, you know, follow the Lord. And now we're talking about in this series, we're going to talk uh, today about um, intimacy. Uh, the I stands for intimacy. When Jesus invited his disciples to follow him, the Bible tells us in Mark 3 that he selected certain ones to be with him. He wanted to be with them. He wanted them to be with him all the time because he desired intimacy. Uh, many believers, although they've started the journey to follow the Lord Jesus, have not developed intimacy with the Lord. And I want to challenge you today uh, to, to examine your own walk with God and to see how intimate you are with Him. The reason He wanted the disciples with Him was that He wanted intimacy with them. And I want to challenge you to say, how intimate are you in your walk with the Lord? How closely are you walking with the Lord? How, how much do you desire the presence of God? And what is that doing in terms of your life? Uh, when God becomes so intimate, when we become so intimate with the Lord Jesus, something happens to us. We are transformed. There is a change that happens to us. Uh, sometimes as believers, we focus so much on programs. We focus so much on activity. We focus so much on doing things for the Lord. But the biggest thing that Jesus desires for us is really to be intimate with him. We're reminded, for instance, of the story of Martha and Mary, where Martha was concerned about serving. She was concerned about uh, activity. But for Mary, it was different. She wanted to sit at the feet of the Lord Jesus. I want to ask you this morning, how closely are you walking with God? How important is it for you to spend time with him? How much of importance are you attaching to uh, prayer, to uh, reading the Word of God, to just beholding His face. The tragedy for many of us is that we spend so much time running around. We're doing things for the Lord. But what He desires from us is not so much activity, but it's being, the whole aspect of being. Um, you, you know that there are there are three levels in life, three things that people focus on. One is to have, many things are focusing on having, acquiring material possessions and that's important for them. Uh, another group of people are, acquire, are focusing on doing, they're focusing on abilities. Uh, here you've got you know, sports people, you've got writers, you've got different uh, people focusing on doing, accomplishing something. But there's another area that we must focus on in life, and that's being. Uh, being comes out of the places that we spend time in. It comes out of the people that we spend time with. And for us as believers, being is going to come out of spending time in the presence of the Lord, being transformed by His presence. And um, I, I just want to challenge you in this, res in this regard. Are you intimate with the Lord or are you just focusing on maybe having things? Uh, we hear a lot about uh, prosperity these days. We hear a lot about uh, possessions and breakthroughs and things like that. But I think the biggest accomplishment that you can have as you start 2018 is to focus on your character, to focus on the presence of God, to focus on intimacy with the Lord Jesus, to focus on spending time at His feet. And as you spend time at His feet, you're going to be transformed into His image. It's what we look at, it's what we behold that transforms us. And for us in this series, being intimate with the Lord changes us into His likeness. Are you being transformed into His likeness? May God bless you as you meditate on this.